Oil has been gaining value since the middle of the last week on the news that the European Union is considering imposing an embargo on Russian oil. Fears about a possible oil embargo on Russia intensified on Monday after the US media spread the news that the FISA package of EU sanctions would surely include this item. Thus, tensions grew until Olaf Scholz delivered a speech. Yesterday, the German Chancellor pushed back against calls from its allies for a ban on imports of Russian oil. Otherwise, Europe's economic growth would stall. Following such statements, oil prices even declined slightly. However, the risks are still high. Investors are concerned about excessive pressure from the United States. Just before his trip to Brussels, US President Joe Biden would press for Western unity and um, tougher Russian sanctions. And uh, this keeps uh, oil prices elevated. At the same time, the quotes uh, are unlikely to extend gains as Europe does not intend to take such a radical step. So market participants seem to have taken a wait-and-see approach in anticipation of the results of the US president's visit to Europe. As the bullish run in brand crude oil futures showed signs of slowing down around the resistance level of 120. This led to a decrease in the volume of long positions and, as a result, a slight pullback. Given that market sentiment is mainly bullish, the recent pullback might have served as a signal for a trend change. Brand crude will most likely resume its uptrend until the price consolidates above the 121 mark on the 4-hour chart. Until then, the quote is expected to continue pulling back. Oddly enough, Olaf Scholz's statement also affected gold prices that dropped to $1,920 per three ounce. Europe's refusal to step up its contra um, confrontation with Russia reduced the risks to both the global economy and security. And this in turn dented the demand for safe haven assets. However, the risks are still high, and the results of Joseph Biden's trip to Europe may change the situation dramatically. This has prompted investors to pull back from risky assets and opt for safe haven assets again. Thus, gold still has a lot of upside potential, but everything depends solely on political factors. According to the trading chart, gold has been standing still within the $1,917 and $1,950 range for several days in a row. There are no clear signals which attracts attention from both buyers and sellers. In this situation, the best tactic is still trading with a view to breaking through one or another boundary of the channel. Therefore, the volume of long positions will rise if the price consolidates above the $1,950 mark on the 4-hour chart, and in case the price fixes below $1,915 on the 4-hour chart, there will be an increase in the volume of short positions. Speaking of the ruble exchange rate, the situation remains unchanged. During exchange trading, the dollar is valued at around 105 rubles. In after-hours trading, the quotes are moving below 100 rubles per dollar. However, a couple of days ago, most of the transactions in the interbank market were made in the area of 90 rubles per dollar. It turns out that the interbank market is gradually stabilizing and coming into line with the exchange one. Nevertheless, the risks are still quite high. A possible embargo on Russian energy supplies by Europe cannot be ruled out. This step may cause market turbulence and lead to a steep uh, fall in the Russian currency. As uh, for the ruble's upside potential, it's um, negligible. Given that the market continues to fluctuate around 105 rubles per dollar, it can be assumed that the Bank of Russia does not allow its national currency to strengthen. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you in our next release.